Welcome back to another episode, guys. We are here at El Dorado, Kansas. Or no, El Dorado, Kansas. I hear some giants in here. I've been here a few times. Bad conditions. Let me explain something to you guys. So about a week ago, I started on this journey to get y'all some good content. So I decided to come out here to El Dorado, which is about seven and a half hours from my home. So upon me coming here, it was a, a, a terrible storm. It took me about, I say, 12 hours when normally, again, it takes me about seven and a half. So anyways, drove through snow, got here. Fishing was terrible. Left El Dorado, went home again, which was about an eight hour drive. Got home, got my daughter, repacked our things. Then we drove to Oklahoma. And if you watched the previous video, that's the video of us at Lake Eufaula. We did all right. Caught a few fish, no complaints. But we're back, I'm back for vengeance. We actually just left Lake Eufaula. Again, shout outs to my uh, uncle and Annie for the hospitality, I appreciate for appreciate you guys for having us on your property. It's wonderful, it's beautiful, auntie, uncle, thank you. I love y'all to death. We'll be seeing y'all soon. But we back, El Dorado, Kansas, baby. fishing the upper end so I went as far north as I could and found a boat ramp that I didn't have to worry about going the whole length of the lake because if you can make it out this place is loaded with timber loaded loaded with timber so I didn't want to deal with that so I'm a basically idle to where hopefully these fish are y'all stay tuned I appreciate y'all I know this is a long intro rambling like comment and subscribe tell a friend to tell a friend man let's hope we get on these fish if you're watching this video that means we probably got them yes sir a few roamers suspended looks like a nice one out at about 21 feet Let's see. So a lot of people they wonder, well, how do you determine what color to use? Well, there's a couple things that I generally do. First, I'm gonna use what's already tied on my uh, my rod because chances are that was what was working last time I went. And even if it wasn't on the same reservoir, like in this instance, pink was working really well on you fall so I'm gonna try pink here. This fish is moving. And a nice mark. Yeah, he's on the crowd. So, but yeah, again, what I'd usually do is pick up the rod with the same jig as last time. And if that don't work, I'll look at the water clarity. Um, muddy water like this, I like using oranges. I like using pinks. Black and pink, black and chartreuse. Let's see. We're on a fish right now. Let's see if he sees it. Just off a little bit. You know, I kind of like that darker color when the water's staying. And when the water's clear, I like your natural, your grays, your blues, your clear color plastics. <laughs> things of that nature but uh I'm gonna drop down on a fish or two and if they don't respond or react I'll definitely be tying on something different like right now let's see I'll drop right down on that fish I don't see how he didn't see that
but uh yeah i'll drop down on a few of these fish and if they're not re reacting to uh my bait definitely be switching it up so i'll let you guys know see you in a minute all right we dropped down at one at about 10 feet you can see if one of these fish I think he sees it come on hard to believe that one out of those three fish didn't see that jig so I'm almost getting ready to tie on something different. Alright, this is perfect. If I don't get a reaction out of this one. There he is. Nope. He followed it. He's looking at it. Nope, he didn't want it. So that tells me He's staring at it, boy. He thought about it. So you know what? Time to switch, switch baits. Let's see. I spooked that fish. We got one. Let's see it. Oh, I missed him. Uh, don't you hate it? I really do. <laughs> Get it for me. Nyla, open it up for me. I don't know if we got that on tape or not, but first one of the day. A little 
bitty thing, boy. Sometimes they're so tricky into believing it's something worth dropping down at. And that time, he absolutely did. See a few fish out here. Scoot in and see if we can't get one. We're looking at it. On to the next. I'm not going to waste too much time on any particular fish. So right now the water temperature is 48 degrees mid-morning. And we are at the end of February. I don't think these fish are staging or anything. It's definitely pre-spawn pre for sure. And I've been noticing these fish out here, out south, southeast, aren't stacking up like they do on my home lake. Come on, see it. They're more or less roamers and uh, wolf packs, which I have no problem with. So the thing with this live scope, man, it takes a lot of practice. It really does. It definitely isn't cheating because uh, it's a learning curve. And even when you think you got it mastered, I still wouldn't consider it cheating. I mean, I've had days I've came out here and just, I don't know, things just weren't working out. And uh, don't catch anything. And I have days where it just can't do no wrong. But, uh, let's see. Let's see what we can come up with. I will be back on Lake Ufala. You guys, comment below if you want to see another video from OU Fala. Thinking about doing the Airbnb. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know what kind of videos you guys like. What kind of content do you like? Do you like to camp in? Because uh, I'll camp. I have no problem with camping out. Come on. Yeah, I have no problems with camping out, cooking a nice meal, enjoying the outdoors. So like I said, comment below. What type of videos do you guys like? Long videos, short videos, you know, 10 minute videos, 30 minute videos. Let me know and I'll try to provide that content. Let's see. See a nice one at about 14 feet. See if we can't get a pitch on it. I don't think that fish saw it. That's a nice one if I can get a jig in front of him. All right, that's, that's gonna be the money pitch. And of course my jig gets tangled up. Let's see. Let's see if we can find that fish. Nope, on to the next. Thanks for watching everybody. That's it. 
it was rough today but uh i gotta get back home it's been a very long trip we've been from el dorado back home to lake ufala back to el dorado so it's time that i get home catch up to my daily home duties whatever it is get back to work appreciate everybody for watching please hit like comment subscribe do all that good stuff tell a friend tell a friend we doing it be looking out for my jig time videos until i be able to get back on the water so until then tight lines stay safe enjoy i appreciate everybody yes sir